Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another step-by-step. -step. Today's video we are doing Bob Marley. I will pop up the mixing ratios for today's paint, brush and the paper that we are using. See you in a minute. we are all set up and ready to go. I've turned the pressure down on the Evo for about 10, test to the side again and this thing on a 02 gets ridiculously down guys, it really does. Really nice atomization on this. So we're going to jump straight in and try and finish this one today. So we're gonna work on the eyes, straight in on the eyes. I'm just gonna go in and puff a bit of paint in. Now usually you'd be doing this with scratch pack techniques and erasing and things like that, but we're not aiming for that type of look. We're just going to go with the style of the image that it is. So it'll almost look a little bit sort of, a little bit sort of stencil in a way. Going in nice and light. Just going to put my own textures in, so I'm just putting some little flicks with the brush just puffing the paint down so it looks a little bit mottled. Working down. Putting a mottled pattern down here for this bit of texture. And in here. Bottom of the nose. I'm just sort of feathering in, just bouncing along for a bit of texture, just filling this in. These sorts of pictures, when you do these, where it's not loads of facial details and it's quite sort of like blocky these are the ones you they look better when you stand back and you give it a good viewing distance and then the image just goes and tightens up but when you look at it close up it can look very blocky and liney until you stand back so i'd say it's got a viewing distance this one it's not a very up close 
image. Just drop the nostril in. A little bit of texture on here. And I'm just literally just pushing down with the trigger to get the paint out. It's like so responsive, this brush, with this thin paint, because it's so thin. Modeling a pattern in here. Coming down. <laughs> Just tone a bit in that face. This is a similar sort of way you'll do the dreadlocks. When you come onto the dreadlocks like this, you are, how I do dreadlocks is literally squiggles, loads and loads of tiny little squiggles like this, going like this, going all the way along. And you create that in and out type pattern of squiggle. And then you go in with another tone and another tone and another tone. And then you just get dreadlock, the look of dreadlock dead easy that way. So basically you're just doing like a line like this and doing this. Once you find your line that you want, thickness, just hold it and just keep doing loads of little squiggles like that. And then when the, when the whole piece is together, it will just look like a dreadlock. So we're working here, I'll just drop a little bit of tone in here. Keep it nice and loose. And then you can just start adding more and more. It's just going to be a very loose picture. Nothing really detailed. Onto the eyebrow. Similar sort of way to the dreadlock pattern, you're just doing the squiggle very lightly, following the shapes. Let's pop in the paint in this one here. I will use a shield for this because there's a little bump on the top of the nose. Kicks into this eye.
and we will be going over this with the second tone just darkening places up drop this eye in Texture on this piece and just coming down. So sort of like speed painting this. This is one of them portraits that you will definitely get finger fatigue on, guaranteed, because you are really bouncing on the trigger. And the Evo trigger is soft, but not soft enough for doing something like this. I prefer to do this with like the Infinity where you've got the tension adjuster on the back. So you can just soften that spring up because you need a very, I'd say a very soft spring for this. Just running on this corner of this mouth. Going where the sharps are. Just sort of dropping them in. In. So 
So this is the second video today. I was in the body shop this morning painting in with the big guns. So it's nice to go in and do a bit with the bigger guns and just keep sort of on top of that. tops of the teeth are. Put a tone over them teeth. Little bit coming up here. Just sharpen this out. Any overspray going around anywhere because we are going to go a, a lot darker. to this eye. Start to blend this in a bit. Little squiggly dot patterns. to this one sort of second pass now on this dark
I actually painted Bob Marley on a Technics turntable and did like the cannabis leaves around the outside and then where the pitch control is I did that out as a folded out silver Rizzler and the pitch control slided inside the Rizzler casing. Looked quite good. If I can find it I'll pop a picture up in the screen now. So that's the one that I did but that's going back years. So we're just working around this hairline and just doffing a bit of painting. Just darkening it up. On and off with the brush so it's like little dot patterns. Like that. Back in on the eye, let's get this a little bit darker in here. Same with this one. Off the shield. A little bit dark on this. Back into the nose, drop another pass in there. And the Evo does make you speed up. That's another reason why I picked this one today. It's a very fast brush. Because the trigger response is on, it's really on quick. It really does make you speed up. Just working this Payne's grey in. A bit darker under this nose, just a few little textures coming underneath. Right, we'll start doing some squiggles in here for this. Little flicks. Basically bouncing off the dots really quick. Just up the side here. Right, we're on to the dreadlocks in a minute. We're going to do a pass in this colour. We'll get rid of some of these unwanted lines. Just put a few little textures in here. A little bit darker in here. Drop a 
tone in here. Right, we'll get rid of some of the unwanted lines around near the eyes. Now they're in place. This just softens it up. Once you take the lines away, it just softens the image up. Get rid of them unwanted lines. Instantly softened it up, takes the lines off of it, and we can just go back in. And now you can sharpen things up. Give them creases a little bit more of a hit. I want it to look a little bit blurry. So I'm just going to go in and just put the sharps where they need to be. But then just back off on some of the strokes and make it just to look a little bit softer in places. Pop the little shapes out where you need to pop them out so you, you focus on them little sharp areas and then the rest is sort of blurry. I'm going to do a pass again around here, this dark band. Just bring some of that dark into this bit here. Same with this edge, do a dark band. I'm just going to fuzz a little bit in, darken this up here. Okay. 
Right, I think we've got enough on the face for now. Probably got a little bit more coming up here. Let's do a little bit of texture. And coming down here. Just a little bit of texture. So I'm glad you're enjoying the step-by-steps. I prefer doing these. If I could do lives, I would. I'd do some lives. But this is as good as live. When you're watching this pre-record, this is what you'd get on a live. Would be this, me talking you through it. <clears throat> and just sort of cracking on airbrushing. Put some more little textures in. Right, we can move on to the squiggles, hundreds and hundreds of squiggles. Let's just get rid of any unwanted lines. So the hair won't, it won't mirror match what's on the picture, what you can see on here, but it will look as good enough for a dreadlock. So, Find your and you are just doing squiggles like that. Some bits I've marked out on this, some bits where it will be sort of jet black in the gaps so you can literally go in and fill them pieces solid like that then you're just bouncing around them so proper random it's going to go darker in this section here but we'll bounce through this with black. So if it's more of a dense, you're just gonna put more paint down like that and darken this edge up and then just fluff it a little bit lighter with a little bit of white showing as you get further out. So just, you can be looking at the camera going with this, you've not got to concentrate, you can just random. Because looking at dreadlocks, you'll be like, oh my God, how do I do it? And I found this is the easiest way to give you that sort of look. So you're scrib scribbling with the airbrush. some darks in here that I want to put in to match it and now I've done the references <clears throat> when I've projected up I've got the ear in here this band in here is a solid dark and then you've got bright highlights of the dreadlocks coming down so I've put, I've put where the highlight bit of being I can just doodle around that and that will match the looking at the reference so pinpoints on this will you'll look at the whole piece and go oh yeah that looks like it because i've left pieces that actually mirror match the picture this piece and the hair some of the hair will look completely different but it will just blend in so the key points get the key points in there and the rest you can make your own and just make it 
the picture your own. Drop this ear in. A little bit of fog in there. And there. dark hair and there's a little bit of hair that comes in it. It's really fast on the trigger, bouncing the paint. This is all dark here and it comes into this band that comes down. There's a little bit here. So you're just doodling. Literally doodling. We're out of paint. That's not, that's not done too bad. That was a cup full. So when people say about the smaller cups on these, that you can get quite a bit down with one cup. And that wasn't right to the brim. I've just dropped the cap. So yeah, you do get quite, a, quite enough in you get more than enough. I think that is the biggest cup you need for a H&S. You don't need the big, big cup. You really don't. Because that holds plenty enough paint. It really does. Just do some real fine.
continuing on with the squiggles. some darker shapes in here and we'll build this up it's going to take some time I'm trying to go as fast as I can Once we put the blacks in as well, we start putting the blacks in, it'll just, the eyes will pop, mouth will sink in, the band of dark round here will sink back, face will pull forward, and then you'll drop the black bits in the hair and the squiggles again, and it'll just go poop, it'll just pop forward. Working this sort of light flickery pass at the start, you're just, you're just building it up. Wiggles. It's like, oh. jumping around but I'm just putting these key sort of points in place because I know the rest is going to be all squiggles and
coming down here. Nice and quick. Put some little textures in there. Brush is working really nice, and as I say, if you want to paint something quick, pick the Evo up. <laughs> So not much to sort of tell you really, just loads and loads of random squiggles. This is a line here, and this is a. Let's get some. This in place there. Get some paint in. We are going to go a lot darker in here. bits coming down into this one and then got some painting
some random squiggles again. Out of paint. So that's three cups, but not to full. So we're not doing too bad. Up. It's got to go dark. Blast some painting. Same here. We can just do some very fine ones in here. And just feather that into it. Close now, just some real fine little tight details just to put a few in. We'll be going a bit darker on this. Right, we'll have a little pause. I'll see you in five. Right guys, we're back. Just had a quick drink. We're gonna, I've done a little bit here off camera, just basically the squiggles again coming round. We're gonna work this bit in here. As I say, I'm just doing my own pattern, but where the key sort of points are, we'll just put them pieces in. A little bit more paint. Back ball, mix it up. Test to the side. You've not really got, if you're doing something like this, you can test your brush straight on this piece. If it spits, 
spider webs out, it doesn't matter because it's just going to add straight into the texture. So, more squiggles. Do some bigger passes on them. Coming down. Dark band in here. And some finer ones coming off. So you, you're basically just going up close, backing off a bit to get some sharp. And it doesn't matter if you're getting dot points when you start because it just all blends in with the texture. So it's a nice one to practice. Another reason why I picked this, because I knew it's a good one to practice for getting these sort of textures with your brush. Working down, going to do a sharp on here. Bring that in. Just got the trigger down and I am just, you can see my hand just flicking on the brush. I've got the paint down on minimum and I'm just creating a real flicked pattern coming along here. I've got dark in here, I've got a line coming out on here. There's some real fine bits coming across. Going with the next tone in a minute. Right, we've just got this bottom piece and work in here. So again, got some dark patches and in here.
coming down to some light dots. Bit of texture. Licking the brush. Into dark. Dark in here. Nice and quick. Smash this one out quite quick. Top coming down. A lot darker in here. Some big dark patches, dots. This is dark here. Coming into his top. Drop the shield again. Got the top of his shirt, which is here. So we've got a dark coming off this. Around. Goes into a dark around the back of it. A little bit of shading on that. This comes up.
A little bit of texture in there, just flicking the brush. Some little flick outs up here, little bits of detail. Drop a few in here just to give it a little bit of detail. into the eyebrows. Just doing the squiggles again. Just going up close and get some tight squiggles and just darkening off where we need to darken off. Right, back down to the bottom. Shirt top coming down. And we've got some random bits in here. The battery on the tablet's going. <laughs> so we're going to do this blind in a minute. I just need to take a good stare at the picture and see what I'm working on. So I'm doing this blind, so I know we've got dreadlocks coming down here, a bit of a top dark, a few more here. I'm just going to run and get the charger and we'll get the tablet back on the go. Right, we are back on.
and tighten the arms here. Right, we're going to go in for the Payne's Grey and the other black now. Just start to darken these out. So basically, just going to go over everything we've just done. And just put the next tone in. I'll do this as fast as I can because I only have so much battery on the camera. I've not got a spare battery for it yet. And the other video, it ran out. Take some of this into the hair.
is time consuming this, doing this. Quite quick. You just got to keep building it up. And you have to move on to something else because your finger just starts to really, really ache. So we're going to work the darks in on the eyes. And have a nice bit of trigger movement that's nice and not too aggressive. Work the mouth in. Needle tongue just on the tops of them teeth. Right, back onto the hair again. Just drop these solid sections in and then we can work up to them. So I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a bit along the way on how to do squiggles.
nice and just it's a, like I say it's a good one to practice if you want to get your trigger down this is the one to practice it on for practicing on small stuff these dark areas in and this is the mixed black it's not the real dark dark black that's why it'll look a bit washy between the two Paint a bit more paint, just continuing on.
bit darker in here. A little bit of in there. All right, we're going to move on to the darker black. I think this is the dark Payne's Grey. Drop a bit of it in. So we've got some more bits to do around here. Continuing on with the squiggles. So you've all learnt today how to do squiggly lines. But it's another one to practice. And say if you want to do dreadlocks, it's just a quicker way of getting a look down. Quite quick.
Right. I'm going to mix a bit of the dark black up. Backing on these dogs here.
working down. Flicking the brush, got the trigger down, just getting the paint and then just bouncing it for an effect. to tone it back. And a bit more around here. We're just going to call this one done. This was just a test panel for you guys just to show you a quick, well I hope it's been quick, Bob Marley.
kommt da was hin her. A bit darker under this line here. I'm just going to tone the face down now with this very light tint. We're not far off. Nearly done. Just a few more little squiggles and as I say, don't worry about mirror matching your reference as long as you get it so it looks like it. that bit and then we can just go in and just just do some random highlighting bits with the Posca just to squiggles again and just dabbing it back gives you that little bit of highlight on the hair drop my eyes in we can go a little bit on the teeth them bits out. We could go a lot more here but we could work this for hours.
guys. Excuse the camera. I've had to change over to the GoPro because the Canon battery just died. So I don't know how much footage we got left on this step by step. But we got it down in the end. We could have done a lot more here. But as I say, this was just like a step by step test panel for you just to show you how you can get sort of the dreadlock texture down just by doing squiggles. So we've got Bob Marley down. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something along the way. I will see you in the next one, which will be probably, like I say, in a week's time. I wanted to get this one out today because I'm really busy now on other projects that I'm not really going to film and put on YouTube. But I will see you again on a step-by-step -step soon. So drop your comments. If you are new to the channel and you're liking the content, just click that subscribe and press the notification and then you won't miss out on upcoming videos. It will get notified for you. If you are stuck on anything, I've said it before, just drop a comment on any of the videos and we will. I'll get straight back to you and I'll help you out as much as I can. We have got some really cool stuff coming up. We've got a brush review coming up. We've got a nice brush being sent out. So I'm going to do some artwork with this brush and give you a review and demo and we've got some cool cleaning products coming as well so i'm going to do you a little demo on some new cleaning products that have come out so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one